and welcome to another wee Wordles on Rhyme. My name is Caitlin and I'm going to be taking you through some stories, crafts and rhymes based on something in our museum collection. Now, last time we looked at the seaside and we made some fish friends, but this time I thought we would look at something different and today's theme is Autumn. Have you heard of autumn before? Autumn is one of four seasons that we have. There is spring, summer, autumn and winter. But today we are going to focus on autumn as autumn started this week. What happens in autumn and what are some of the changes that we see? Well, one thing is that some animals, like hedgehogs, start to collect lots of food and make their homes more comfortable to get ready to hibernate during the cold months of winter. In autumn, the nights will start to get colder and it will start to get darker too. So you'll have to start to remember to put your jackets on. Another thing that you will definitely see is the leaves will start to fall from the trees. This is because it starts to get cold and then the leaves will change colour and they'll fall off the trees. But what colours do they change to? This reminds me of something in our museum collection. This is a painting of Dunfermline, a town in Scotland during autumn. Do you see the trees? What colours can you see that the artist has used? Well, you can see here there is still some green, but also some have started to change to orange and brown. Leaves of the trees will start to turn browns, oranges, yellows and reds. Look, Here's some I found outside. See how they have changed colours? So for this week's craft, I thought we could take our leaves, look at our museum painting and make our own autumn leaves. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, scissors and some colours like the ones we just spoke about. For our first step you're going to take your hand on your piece of paper, take the pencil or pen in the other and trace out your hand. So it might look something like this. For the second step, you're going to get an adult to help you with the scissors and we're going to cut out our tracing. And then you'll have something like this. Once you have cut out your trace carefully, we're going to take our autumn colours and colour in our leaf. You can colour it any way you like, but these are the autumn colours. I have some leaves here to help me. And there we have our very own autumn leaf. Now you can do as many as you want. Maybe you could even make a tree of autumn leaves. If you made an autumn leaf today, I would really like to see it. And you can send me a photo of your leaf to Museum Learning at ST dash uk, and now it's time for this week's story. This 
week's story is about some of the animals that are going to go into hibernation. Are you ready for my story? You know that now it's autumn, some animals are getting ready for the sleep. You won't see them for a while. You won't even hear a peep. Animals, like the rabbit, are gathering lots of food. This is so they don't get hungry. They can even snack when they're in the mood. Animals, like the bat, are getting their homes all comfy. So they'll stay nice and warm. Oh, isn't that real lovely? Animals, like the hedgehog, are getting ready for a nap. They have to start in autumn, so there's no mishaps. Animals and plants are getting ready to hibernate. Well, we'll need to wait till spring, but we'll see them again around that date. And now it's time for our rhyme. The rhyme is about autumn leaves, so get your one ready. Don't forget to join in. All the leaves are falling down, orange, yellow, red and brown, falling softly as they do, over me and over you. All the leaves are falling down, orange, yellow, red and brown, falling softly as they do, over me and over you. That was brilliant you guys. Thank you for joining in with me. Now, I'm sad to say that's all that we have time for today, but thank you for joining me on this We Ward Laws Online. And don't forget to add your awesome leaf to your museum collection. Thank you everyone. Bye.